So what we have today is a vlogging tripod. I know in the past that we have discussed which one is better. Um, we had the eye footage versus this Joby Gorilla pod, which is the best, I believe is the king of a vlogging tripod. But I think times are different now and we're going for a trip. I want it to be perfectly, when I say perfectly smooth, trip like in the past i was using this however that was five years ago and there's a lot of changes in technologies and i would like to give a shot for this small rig tripod which is meant for tabletops and vlogging and i think i got a good idea which one is better but let's find out we have here is the small rig tabletop tripod i'll tell you right now guys this tripod is all metal and i must say if i'm going to vlog like this it is very very good to hold palm on my hand i got wrist support it's hurting right now but if you look at this that covers the entire you know fist full right there and that is a game changer because first and foremost, it's all metal. I mean, when I say game changer, it's much easier to vlog when you go walk around like this. You must say it's a beautiful day right now, guys, in, in the islands of El Nido, not my backyard. There's a lot of creatures in there and I hope you don't trip on one of those snakes. If not, there's no snakes in there. I'm just messing with you. But once again, I think Small Rig is a company that does listen to their creators. And one of the features that I like about this is all metal and it's swappable on the Arca Swiss type plate, which I have a fluid head tripod from Small Rig. I know there's not a lot of vloggers out there. But if you're looking for a tripod that fits your hand, I got a pretty small hand. Um, this is a very strong candidate, guys. You got to take a peek on this one. I'll get the dimensions later. I'll bring this to the studio and I'll definitely let you know about this tripod. I think it's, look at this, man. I mean, the reach, I'm holding an OEM lens the reach is just like, it's enough. You can see it. The frame covers the entire place, but we'll see. And this is the Joby Gorilla Pod. This is a legendary vloggers tripod. Again, Casey Neistat reminds me of, he introduces this to everybody as far as I remember when I was just starting way back in the years, I still don't have a lot of followers, but I'm still doing it. But once again, guys, you can see the difference. Look at this. When I hold it, this is the most clasp of, you know, as slim as I can get on the Gorilla Pod. It still contours, really nice to hold because there's rubber plastic this is not metal and the bowl head part is metal. That would be the only part that is solidly metal. But once again, if you look at it, it's very comfortable using it. The reach is higher and definitely has that Joby sturdiness in it. But will it retain it? We'll see. And once again, this is the Joby tripod. I think you can tell unanimously the reach of the Joby tripod definitely is its strongest point. And uh, comfort wise, you can't beat it as well since the circular handle of the Joby tripod contours naturally in your hand. And I must say, it's still a treat to use this tripod, but this is the main advantage of the Joby, fully extended in my hand. There's just a lot of reach. You can see that. If you be vlogging, it'll be nicer to show everything. This is its fullest 
hand on my little arm is what we got. Now I'll tell you right now, since this Joby tripod is plastic, I had an accident. Uh, my CVE-10 was like two weeks old and I was shooting the landscape, which it happened to be uh, a tedious project that me and my wife did. And uh, yeah, I used the Joby and guess what happens? Uh, maybe it's part of my fault, but it fell. So good thing I got the cage all metal it's sturdy i got the uh, a small rig cage that way i can use it like what i can attach to it but it fell the flimsiness of the joint in this part definitely gave way um during the time that i've been using this for the past five years it definitely loosens up it doesn't feel sturdy at times when you use the tripod for dedicated you know standing up of the camera like i was putting it in a brick but definitely it's part of it and uh that's the most downside of this one longevity plastic it's gonna be problematic then you're gonna have to replace it it's around 35 bucks right now this is the 1k version or 3k version it's very old it's it's kind of white the newer one right now is black but that's the downside of the joby tripod now we're going to talk around this small rig tripod first i want to point out the downside of this one is that the reach i mean if it's a little bit longer i understand because this is all metal um just that just the reach because if you see it's more uncontoured for holding one hand now if you're gonna reach out all the way like this you still have enough in your background you know just not fill the frame with your face then it's definitely enough but it would be nice if it's a little bit longer however that would be the only thing I can think about which is the advantage of the Joby tripod there will be no wear and tear in this part you can see that this is Allen key right here. Allen key on all legs. The base that holds the tension towards flexing this. The problem that I have in the Joby tripod long-term use is the wear and tear of this part of the tripod. It eliminated that. This is going to be a better investment. If you ask me for the past five years that I've been using the Joby tripod, I think I'm more confident now to be able to say to replace the Joby tripod with this one and I can still use the Joby as a backup. But other than that, I believe this is more than enough to be vlogging. Thank you guys for watching. I hope I was able to help you out on deciding which one to get. But both are great devices. It's just that they have that strengths and weaknesses. Thank you for watching. Always remember, God is good all the time. It's your main boy. Peace out.